if all right, listen, you gonna if you gonna fuck Chilly. you gonna fuck a nigga. Chilly. Why are you choose all that Carl Winslow? Sick is like seventy. Look all that ass. He said, "Look all bro, that ass, Carl got." He's seventy. <laughs> what? I don't know. Cause he just like maybe he was like he always thought Carl Winslow was like that. I don't know. I just go ahead. Go, ahead. go deeper. I go don't deeper. know. He probably made that nigga grow his mustache and shit for him and wear his cop uniform. I don't know what he did. He went into some weird shit. Yo, though. did he did he send in this nigga an email of what he want him to dress like for the next month? For the for the next month before he fucks him, it's crazy. Yo, I want to see you around the city <laughs> in your cop uniform and grow your mustache in, but nothing else. Shave your head, shave your beard, keep the mustache, because when I see you, it's on sight. <laughs> <laughs>
no problem here. Hey, whatever you do. Hey, maybe he's get maybe he's gotten bored with the women and he's like, fuck it. You know, we step my game up. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't that, know. Is that stepping your game up though? I don't know. I, I really think he just did it for social media. Guarantee you. Yeah. And he's like, God damn. You, you know, he like decided to be with a trans woman. Yes. For media. Yes. That's yes. Where, that's where y'all going yes. with this. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. You know why? Because people do things for social media. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> people do things to get popping so that you can get more opportunities. And sometimes you can do all the positive you want. You can you can donate to all the charities you want. You can do all the cool stuff you want. But when you do the fuck shit or when you do the stuff that's going to get people talking and get you back into the news cycle, that's what gets you back popping for some people. That is the most insane way to try to pull your what you would think would be a brand in your eyes up because I mean was was Mr. EJW ever ever popping? With nah, the years 91 through 95. Nah, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't, but he'll pop back up on your social media screen here and there with the fuck shit. He was the guy that was dating Superhead Corinne Stephens when she would like leave him at night to go fuck Lil Wayne and he was cool with it. Like he knew about it. Like she would leave him like, oh yeah, Lil Wayne wants to see me today. And she would go, she would go over there to fuck him and suck his dick. And, and she was married on. and she was married to this nigga. And come home and kiss this dumb ass nigga. And come home and kiss him. So that's what I mean by like, yo, he just kind of do, you know, he just kind of do a couple weird things that just kind of throw me off. And this, this, this is an off brand. This is that's your man, dog. You, you, you and Eddie Winslow. That's your homie, dog. Listen, you don't even, dog. you don't even know why you're saying that now. You just saying, I know why I'm saying that's your nigga. That's your homeboy. You know what I'm saying, you just double that's, down that, on that. Yeah, I am going to double down. Are you cool with the nigga like that? That's your. <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm just saying. You're I don't cool with the nigga like that. Like, but go back go to him. The brunch and shit. <laughs> Clearly, I'm just saying. Maybe he just like, yo, man. He really couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't separate Eddie fucking Winslow from him from himself. Whatever the fuck his name is, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Now that's a uh, that is yo Malcolm <laughs> fucking. His name Jamal is Darius Warner. McCrary. Fuck. Yo, Malcolm, Malcolm Jamal, Jamal Warner. Warner dog. That's Theo, my friend. And you, I know that shit. Yo. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know. I said it on purpose, nigga. I bet. That Bro. nigga's the that nigga's the, <laughs> the fucking uh Walmart brand fucking Malcolm Jamal Warner. That's what he was. Like for real. He was like the second coming to fucking Theo and he named he, the nigga Eddie Winslow. And he could he never could separate his he could never he separate could himself from that. He was trying he to be a sex symbol in the 90. Yeah, I know. He tried to be a sex symbol in the nineties and everything like that. From that to dating a bitch who's sucking, who suck coogee rat dick into her nosebleed. Like, mm-hmm. damn, that was, a, like, that was a thing. That's a hard L. That's a hard L to take. Like, you know, what I mean, it's, it's one thing. Like, you know, you fucking fucking wipe up the neighborhood hoe, but you wipe up the industry you, hoe. That's a whole nother level, bro. Do you think? He craves L's, like he just he wants to find more ways to take, like, like he just wants to be the guy that people say, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why do you do what you do?" <laughs> Crazy from him, from him trying to sing, for him trying to sing back in oh. the '90s and everything. But you know geez. what I'm saying? Like, yo, why are you singing? He was. You know what I'm saying? That. No, you don't remember. Yeah, yeah no, <coughs> episode with. Yeah, I thought you meant like he actually tried to sing, like created a record, bro. He was trying, you know, on bro on mad episodes. They was just letting them. see on every good sitcom, <coughs> somebody wants to sing, so they try to put it in the show so they can sing. Case in point, did you, Gina, did you, oh, Gina from Martin. Yeah, yeah but she yeah, can, she can she can sing. She but can she was sing. doing that before then. She was doing that's that. That's fine. She, no, yeah, she that's was fine. What's that, that movie with the plant was eating Little, ho- Little Shop of Horror. Little yeah, Shop of Horror. yeah. Her and Pam ass. Be Gina. 
be Gina. Shut the fuck up and be Gina. All right? That's one. Eddie, there's a bunch. Even on Modern Family, something that I watch now, Alex wanted to try to sing. They could sing, but shut the fuck up and just be your character. I don't want to hear you sing. You know why? Yeah, but that's how, they, like, that's how they edged out to different shit back do then. Do they? Because no, all of them I mean, sing. I don't know that. I mean, think about it. Will's not necessarily just singing, but they they try to create Will something Smith else and make their way. Acting. Exactly. He was a he was a rapper who found his way into acting. She was an actor acting. who was trying to find her way into. You know, you know they R&D, all sing. Maybe you know what I mean. A lot of these people are classical. They they they're trained. All of them are trained to not all of them, but a lot of them are trained to do plays and shit like that, where they all sing. The point I'm making is them on their show. Hey, write something in there to sh- me so I can show off my singing shit. The character themselves, you are like, uh, why is that person trying to sing? Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. Eddie, why is Eddie? Well, Eddie wants to about to show off his. Eddie's about to show off his other musical talent, playing the fucking skin flute. I mean, <laughs> hey yo. I'm just saying. That's hey, yo. <laughs> that's, hey, that's where that hey, nigga's headed. That's where that nigga's headed. Uh, listen, what in the fuck? you go turn on the, on the fucking, watch that <laughs> OnlyFans and be fucked up for the rest of your life. The skin flu is wild, okay? You cut that out right the fuck now. <laughs> I, remember, I remember she sung it on the show. Push. You got to push. He said he was singing. That's what Eddie going to be singing. Like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> so, where did, let me ask you. Like, sweat. You remember fucking Martin House Party? Sweat. Oh, no, man. I'm telling you. You're boy. wilding right now. You're having a field day. Where does his career go after this? Oh, oh man, I don't know. He's the man. I don't know where his listen. I don't know where his career. Listen, he could probably fucking get to the adult, you know, adult films and because I got a category like that. They got a whole category no, no. like playing that. the skin flute. No, no he... yeah, they do. <laughs> they got not playing the skin flute, but they got a whole category of. You know, dudes doing let's, that, and he'd be the he'd be the black version of that. Let's build this out. Let's build this out real yeah, quick. I build it out because because the person because because now the, the the adult film industry ain't even really a thing. It is, but it ain't. Like ain't nobody going to see them niggas. The, even the people from the adult film industry set up their OnlyFans, and that's how they get their money, and they shoot their own scenes and own their all own content. So I would say if he's venturing into this. And maybe he starts his own OnlyFans and goes from that way. Maybe they become because every listen, there's you know to keep his masters. Yeah, well, there you go. And there's and there's <laughs> there's couples that people watch that are like couples that that fuck and have their OnlyFans and people pay to see their content. So maybe he goes that route with it. Can you imagine meeting a girl right and she like I want to you watch porn? You like yeah, shit, yeah, why? Damn, I thought we nipped it in the bud. Some, I want to show you some freaky shit. And she hit play on that shit. Are you going to fuck her? Or are you going to watch and continue and like start to fuck her? Or are you going to just get up and walk out? Like she plays uh, plays Eddie Winslow uh, OnlyFans. Would you watch it with her? She a badger on with a fat ass and she puts that on. No. I don't think I'm going to be like, it's going to throw me off the move. Where, first of all, why are you turning on porn to fuck me? I'm just That's saying, maybe she's like a freak. You be like, yo, this bitch, this bitch. There's other, hell, there's man. other porns. <laughs> but I'm saying, she, she wants to see that. She wants to see everything. She wants to have every. All, she no, wants to have. She gonna start getting that Napoleon ideas. ice cream. She no, want to no, have no. everything in there. A little yeah, bit of everything. I don't have to watch it. In all honesty, I don't have to watch it. I turn around, do what I got to do. All right, you watch that. You do what you do. You watch that while I'm doing what I'm doing. 
right? Because yeah. in the end, does it matter if I'm not? I don't. I don't see it. That's she your got thing. The it's going on. And she got the volume up, and uh, what's, I can hear. I can. I can hear the gayness. You can hear the moan. The moan from uh, <laughs> two guys. What's, what's, what's the girl? What's what's the what's the transgender woman name? What's her, what's the, you hear that nigga, <laughs> yeah, that nigga moan, and it just because you see when she was laughing in the video, you hear that nigga moan. It, was, it was like it felt feminine at the beginning, but the deeper she got to her laugh, like her Adam Apple start coming in to play and shit. It was like, yeah, I'm like, damn, man. Eddie's so was nervous. <laughs> Oh, if this was doing it like the fat hey, boys, oh, hey, yeah. what? what is going that, on? This nigga is a fucking bitch. This nigga, that bitch, yo, that, that bitch went from sounding like Kim Kardashian to the nigga on the green mile at the end of her laugh. It's Michael Clark Duncan. I, you know what, though. Listen, and I'm not judging the man. Do what you got to do. I mean, if that's what you feel like you have to do to get popping, that's crazy to me. But go ahead and do whatever you do now, whatever look, you like to do. If that you, if that, if he enjoys it, if he if he wholeheartedly is into this, and that's what he wants to do, then you can't <laughs> knock a nigga for doing what he likes. You know what I'm saying? But if, if you are speculating that this is done. Like as a parlor trick, yes. Who's his nice. fucking? Because he's not. I don't. Me personally, I don't feel like he has anything to boost at this point. He's just a regular ass nigga who you who played on a couple things, but I don't see him as anybody that needs to be looked for. What you, you know call what him mean? when you see him? What do you call him when you see him? I don't know. I call nigga. Eddie what do you call Winslow. him? Exactly. He always has Man. something to boost because he's Eddie Winslow. Even if he went around he the United States singing any song, you know him as Eddie Winslow. So that means that yeah, but that hey, mean you give a fuck. You This nigga went from clapping nigga, cheeks to nigga, clapping me. If you seen the nigga, all right, let's let's mall, come on, man. Let's try to see that. Ass. I know. Go going ahead. for an autograph. Come on, give me something, bro. Shake his hand. If you seen the nigga at at a distance. Are you going there to meet this nigga? You getting an autograph or anything oh. like that? Or are you saying I would never get an autograph, but I'll definitely shake his hand. Why not? Dog, I, wins a, dog, I struggle out of your way to go I over there to shake, it, shake his hand. I'm not if saying I, like you just see him. introduce him. I'm saying you oh, walking across the street, he's on the other side of the street. You see him over there, you crossing the street to go say what's up to him. Maybe I'm just I think Maybe. he's getting tired of niggas being like, oh shit, there go Eddie Winslow. Like I mean, this ain't like, gonna make it like, no better. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying, nigga. Like, oh shit, there were Eddie Winslow compared to you say, oh shit, there's Samuel L. Jackson. Oh shit, there were Denzel mm. Washington. Oh yeah, shit, that's what I'm saying. Goes, you know what I mean? You don't, you're not, you're not really caring as much because you're just like, you oh, will literally, literally. I seen Eddie Lit Winslow over there. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I see the walk by. It was crazy. That, that'd be that. So, so but you're getting thing, right? explaining how you see this nigga. You saying, oh shit, yeah. He's walking. Everybody's walking by him. Not Eddie Winslow, not Darius saying, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh shit! There go Eddie Winslow. Like, yeah. like go Eddie just, Winslow just with that with, with that with the jaw that with, was the like, with the with the jaw with the balls. Is that <laughs> jaw <what> with <laughs> the balls? Because <laughs> it's true. But here's here's my point with that. Here's my point with that. Nowadays, and we can't say we haven't seen it. That's why I don't understand what y'all what y'all talking about. It's like we've seen it with a bunch of acts. We've seen it with. Listen, this is just a weird trick to do it, but it's a lot of people that you might have Jim Jones and um, even though Jim Jones is a whole lot of behind the scenes shit to get love and hip hop going, um, but the the bullshit got them back popping again. It's a reason why you know who Chrissy is. You know, not y'all, but like people know who Chrissy is. The bullshit gets Erica Mena. I don't know that. I saw Erica Mena in videos. I don't know who she is other than the bullshit. It's the bullshit that gets the internet going. We just saw it with Diddy. Like, and, and people we don't know. But when you see the shit and the, they're in the news cycle, you know what it is. So this is a thing. It's a reason why she pulled out the camera and basically announced that they were doing it. Because they could have just well, did it and dropped it. Well, who is she? Is she somebody in in the community? I thought she, she was on some, some type, type of loving hip hop or something. Or, I don't know. She's this person. She's. I thought she's she a was. Heavy, she's a uh, every social media presence. That's that's all I can say. And Dre, I understand what you're saying. That's why I always give big shouts out to Cardi B because 
She right. did love and hip hop and just never returned. Like niggas never look back. It's yeah, because I niggas do love and hip hop and want to be rappers on there, and you hear their music like playing it. Like my wife watches that shit when their music playing in the background. I'm like, can you just mute that shit when they turn their <laughs> personal music back That's on? True. Like the shit just be the shit be terrible. It Fucking does. like it, it, for real, it's like you found a SoundCloud beat. You your, your nephew just got Fruity Loops mixed it for you, and what? you got these fucking shitty lyrics that go to this fucking song. You, it's just all the way fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I'm just you ever hear they music on Love and Hip Hop? I mean, like, oh they have God. budgets, but I got I feel you though. But they got they got oh, budgets. Oh <laughs> they just God. don't rap yeah, good or sound good. It it sounds <laughs> terrible. You know, I mean, like what's the chick name? What's the the Puerto Rican chick name? Who was with? It's uh, a lot of them. Stevie, Steve, the one was with Stevie J. Uh, she was, she, uh, oh my she, god, bro, I can't think of her oh, name. Oh, oh no, her career. You you don't even know because yeah, your her girl, is... your her career that shit gone, nigga. Are you kidding me? I yeah, thought the same Jocelyn, thing. Terrible, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Yeah, terrible yeah, rapper. Jocelyn, that does. Bro, her shit. But, she got her own show. She yeah, from she the got bullshit. She's she got, got her own show, but you brand. ever hear when when they cut to her music, that shit be terrible. terrible. I'm, 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 I'm like, oh, just bitch, stop rapping. Just stop. Like, nobody can say this. It. You couldn't even, no super producer, you can have Swiss say Swizzy, and that shit her. just be fucking terrible from yeah, the watch, jump. Bro, you want to hear the worst part? You want to hear the worst part? Her husband is a producer. A big, a bigger producer and produces her. And guess what? The girls fuck with her songs because she plays the songs in those episodes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you start singing them shits. At first, it's embarrassing. My wife was letting me hear that shit, and I said, "This is the worst piece of shit I've ever heard in my life." And, and then, then you, find you find yourself singing the stupid parts of it because it's stupid, but you repetition, catchy, catchy repetition. stupidity. And it and now they all do it. Now all the little girls who fought on one season of one show that was on the internet all of a sudden got their own shows now. The bullshit oh, yeah. gets people. Empire popping. music was fire, but that's yeah. not who the music? same as uh, Empire. Music? Empire. Oh, that's show? different. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. That's what I say. It's not the same. Yeah. That's not the same as this. Isn't people on a show? Like a reality show trying to build their brand up to be something else, or nah, this is that they, was that was a show about music, about artists. Well, I, yeah, I, I was like, well, music I think much. the it had to be nice. Think, if they weren't nice, the show would have been worthless at right. that point. Like, what you got a record company and everybody ass? Well, I'm just saying, go back, to <laughs> right? Boy, speaking about ass, go back to the boy Eddie Winslow. I really think he can build a fucking. Like, I think he could build the show off this shit. Like, really have his own show on fucking VH1. Is like, that's his girl. And they in love. And that's 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 the move, Kev. That's what I was that's getting. That's what at. they do. That's what that VH1 can be the about. move. Not even VH1 yeah, now. Music. That's why I say you, go to, you gotta, yeah, you gotta yeah, be yeah. into he, it. That, he that really one gotta, he gotta be into it. Like, that's gotta what be his thing. Like, called? I don't think you can fake that. I don't think yeah, because that's what they all on. One of them or a couple of them are on, even the, the bad baddies east and all that shit. Oh my god, oh, I forget what it's, what it's called. Some trash ass shit, my wife. Some trash ass me. shit. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. yeah. But think about but yeah, that. He, he, you yeah, hey, he hey, if my wife start watching it, I will watch it. Let me see what this nigga doing on here. Sydney get some star. popping yeah. again. Yeah, there you go. See, when Sydney. I start watching shit like reality shit with my wife, the shit that she watched. I immediately start talking shit dishes. about it, and I'm me like, too, and she too. don't want to. She, she hates don't it. Wanna, she don't want me to be. She like, all right, that's enough. And I'm like, like yo, why are you watch. watching this? You just watching the show about a bunch of whores. But I'm just saying, like, can you imagine his show? Like, that's why I'm saying he got. He has to be into that shit. I do the same because shit because I'm saying real shit. You, he really got to be into it. Like, that's got to be his real twist. Like, I don't. Uh, hell. Maybe it's just stuck. Hey, yo, you it know got, what? I'm going to tell you this. I'm saying, if the nigga get a nigga. reality show off of that, did he win? That's he my If he gets a reality point. show off of that, did he win? That's the start All of that him nigga. Winning. winning. No, All he didn't win in our eyes, but he won in, my, in his eyes, maybe. I mean, he getting a yeah. check. And, he, and 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 maybe he really liked this person. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm maybe saying. He really fucked yeah. with this person. 
That's what I'm saying. He, they spoon. He wake up just some morning wood. Like that's his thing. That's what I'm saying. Like it just it, it got to be real. Like it's got to be real. All but that got to be like, real. Some guys. Like, that's what I'm saying. Good. You can't be upset yeah. about that. You could do I'm that. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm just the saying, way he's bro. Categorizing this nigga life. If he likes to wake up the morning wood, like. I'm just <laughs> like don't do that, day, to Eddie. Nigga, yeah, Eddie Garoppolo wins. Every day, the nigga just waking up the hard dick and and breakfast. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who? I mean, hey, night. Yeah, she got you know. I say, right. I say you, I say you do what you want. But if he does get a show, which can very well be a possibility, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's let's drive it towards that. One of them networks yeah. will definitely pick it up. It's definitely, and, and, and I don't know if you watch oh, these other shows. Shit. These bitches just, it's just them being in the house all day, all fighting right. and going to the club. <laughs> so when you look at Eddie Winslow and they doing like appearances and they doing other stuff and they might be, they might be shooting their OnlyFans, niggas is coughing, uh, and they shooting their OnlyFans and shit. That could be a show and people will watch. At that point, yeah. when he's, now, now he can start being on other stuff too. Now maybe he can create a show. It it's a lot of possibilities that come from the dumb shit that might start it, but it's a lot of possibilities that come from that that could get your career going. Nobody want to. I don't want Eddie Winslow on my motherfucking movie or show. There's a bunch of like young talented actors. I'm not saying that he's bad. I'm saying like you have to find a way to make yourself popular so you can sell what other people are trying to sell with their products, which is which are TV shows and movies. That's they're selling products. You have to make yourself a draw somehow. There you, you go. Darius McCray got it. Carl Winslow is definitely is alive. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive <laughs> and well. <laughs> rolling on his couch. Yo, <laughs> let, let's listen, man. Let's let's yo. Hey, let's keep three, two, one. Got it no one, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? You if you watch family, so let's 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 watch. watch let's, speaking of speaking of family it. matters, man. My man right here. Urkel. Yo, she got a butterface. <laughs> God damn. He just got that married. Bitch like she got a uh... credit score to 900. <laughs> God damn. Oh she has a masculine that bitch face. Look, that bitch Ooh. like a Russian boxer. She looked like she I could did. dress up as the Joker for Halloween. And just what's, the dude? I was... what's the dude that be like, you sure about that? You sure about that? That's yeah, he what she recently like. got. He recently got met married to a tech executive, man. I mean, I, I gotta be loved because that looked like that is the a lot of chicken just straight in the oven <laughs> with some bean be casserole or oh, bean said, casserole. She she cook straight in the oven. Uh, straight in the oven. The bitch grab the salt like this out of a bowl and sprinkle it across the chicken with a little bit you know, of pepper. You know what she looked like? What? Put it back up. Just put it back up. She's like a Muppet. She's like one of the Muppets. So she don't she? Like... Is these family matter niggas taking L's or what? Oh, She's we gonna that, get the Carl. The same face as that's an L right. That is an L right there. That's an L. That looks. I don't like, think it's an L. Let's keep it real. That's not an L. L. That's not an L. It's... Why is that an L? I'm trying to put my thumb over her face and like maybe her body looks good. And I'm like, no, this bitch, look at her chest. Like, oh, she had a hell of a personality. Like them titties look depressed in that shirt. She man. probably she probably crazy uh, smart too. She but you know what it is? <laughs> no, she like she sucked dick with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> she like she sucked dick with teeth involved. But like, no, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. I think she's making the classic white person face. You ever you ever say you ever see a white person on the street? Right, you ever see a white person on the street? Sorry, Kev. And yeah, like right. you, you say what's up, and they give you the. <laughs> she just looked like she making that particular face. That's her smile. <laughs> Rich said the girl version of Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> That's crazy because Ellen's uh, and Ellen, Ellen married to a fine ass woman too. <laughs> Y'all think it's tripping? <laughs> Ellen get bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Elegant bitches. Oh tripping. man, but she... oh, no, she's man. definitely. Like, she's her face is crazy. I, I guess that's like her one black friend right there. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I want to see what you're going, where you're going to go with this. 
I don't. She doesn't look like the. I guess. I mean, the way he talks and everything is like he's fucking token black. So I feel like that's to come. Do you felt like know she dated a Jaleel Trump White dude. personally? What? No, the what nigga smoke weed about? and all that. I know he smoked oh. weed. I know he. I, know I don't he know anything about him. him. And that nigga had an episode where he wore a fucking mop. Remember when he was when he was, he was a hardcore cousin of Urkel? I do remember that. Nigga, that shit was stupid. And nigga had his, his shirt tucked in his boxers and his boxers pulled away away with his PG mm-hmm. sagging with a fucking uh with some dreads he borrowed from Eight Mile and shit. Them shits was just. I- Oh, which is the whole episode. I, I, I bet you Eddie wrote that, that wrote and directed that episode. He had to, because that was some corny shit. Hey, yo, Eddie writing and directing the gangster yo, episode. You don't remember how crazy. he was? He was, like, yo, he was like, yo, Carl, how did you get that boot? I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Carl had to teach I'm him a lesson, 90s. probably. You yeah, were scared Carl of that nigga the... when you was a kid. The, the gangster no, I wasn't. Of yeah, I was scared. I was scared of a scared. nigga who acts, who acts tough and keeps doing these movements. I'm like, the fuck are you doing? You're sign language, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. You scared of the I, sign, the club I, sign language, dude? I never seen a nigga in the nineties. I never fuck see a nigga kidding. in the nineties when they talking hard. They be going like this. I said, God damn! Like y'all are all black TV show, all black cast. Fuck you, Kevin. Martin. Martin had it together. That's how probably black people act. That shit they were doing on there on on Family Matters is like, oh well, my gosh, like well, it struggled. You want to have a conversation about it? They said that Good. Jewish people created that that show. That's why it was like culturally off at first, and they had to kind of adjust it. But Jewish people ran that show. That's why Rachel on the first episode came in the door saying "Oy vey," and motherfuckers was like, "Niggas don't say no fucking oy vey." I ain't know what the fuck that meant. The fuck oy vey. That's a Jewish thing. Like, wow. sheesh. Like, like, huh? You know what I mean? Like, it's oh. it's a Jewish thing. But Jewish people was oh, writing man. it. It was in Chicago in the hood, and that nothing shit, on that, right? Nothing about that said Chicago and that shit. I swear, them niggas was in like the suburb of the suburbs. But yeah, when funny. they zoomed in on their house, their house and their street was kind of nice. Yeah, but, that, but I'm wondering. Age. But I'm wondering, like Urkel's another nigga. Like, did he marry her just to like, because? It said his social, like his buzz was nowhere on the internet with this shit. It just fucking, was that a fucking like a move? Because I'm pretty sure he could have had something mm-hmm. a little bit better than that. Like, I, know, I think, I mean, I think Steve can do whatever he wants. I'm still making, I think he's still making moves out there behind the scenes for real, for real. But does she look like she got, he yeah, he probably, she like she got fire pussy? Why I know, but I'm saying, oh, no, no, I don't like that. She look like, does she like she got fire pussy? You never no. know what she got. No, but she probably does, and we don't she know probably, because we don't know them kind of women. knows some tricks. You know what I'm saying? She got some tricks to the trade. You, you know think she's, she got you think she you think she suck his dick with mayonnaise? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying though, that's like a white person thing, right? Kev, I'm, I'm not trying. Some... I'm not trying to fry you up. I'm just saying shit, bro. I'm just put some of that helmets on you. We keep forgetting some of these helmets on your beak. We, listen, we keep forgetting. The thing that about Kev it got is, a melanin challenge is, woman. The thing about it is, my wife watches this, so when she see y'all, she see this. Y'all gonna have to deal with that. I don't especially care. since he she already know I'm racist. She already know I say racist shit. Babe, how do you know? Babe, how does he know? How does he know my trick? You be telling them. Mayo top. <laughs> First of all, ew. Second of all, Miracle Whip. <laughs> yeah, <you> see? <laughs> it's like, nah. It puts yeah. the mayo on the skin or it gets the hose again. But I mean, they they, the they say is, the same thing about us. She's probably like, I No, they you, don't care. That's, never, you. That's just she's you. like, she, she does an interview. This is my first time having Kool Aid. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that, you know. Yo, if Steve Urkel still got Kool Aid in his fucking fridge, then he deserves to marry her. And in all honesty, Yo, though, like... with this woman, I just think I just think she's. I mean, do we really want? Do we think Jaleel White should be with a supermodel at fifty? No, he should but be I'm with saying... whomever he wants to be with that makes him happy. Yeah, it was some. Kev expects, probably... expects all his childhood. Uh, oh. 
superhero television stars to be with the baddest women in the world and be millionaires. God, I mean, God forbid right. they be with a transgender. I've God seen, I've yeah. seen some bad I mean, apparently he still executives. got money, so. I see some what? badass executives like, damn, he should have got that. But you went and got the bitch that looked like she was in the science contest with Urkel. Like, like you know, you remember Urkel used to have that little crew he used to hang out with? That motherfucker looked like she was a part of that crew. I'm just saying. Wait, wait, wait. What crew did Urkel... What crew did Urkel... You remember when Urkel, you remember, you remember when Urkel, when Urkel went to college and shit and he had, and he got, he got accepted into that college and he had all these, like, smart friends and, this, and they, like, Testing this nigga is an episode. I'll just start watching. I just I've never watched that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had a crew, he had a crew, he was hanging out a bunch of nerds and shit on and and, and you know they had like different nerd girls in the school. Like I like that's like I'm saying she looks like she was like, you know what? I got my nerd in her mind. She's like, I got my Urkel. Like that nigga is nowhere I, near Steve Urkel. He is Jaleel Jonathan White. Niggas Urkel is it's like that's Eddie no Winslow. You see them two niggas together, you yell out family matters. No, nah, his name is definitely Urkel. Now, can we talk about the star power of Urkel real quick to say that to say what he deserves? In all yeah. honesty, bro, Urkel probably was the biggest thing moving back when we was back when we was kids. The biggest thing moving. Yeah. One of the you know, yeah. he will they put him on other shows on TGIF because he was that big. As like crossovers, this nigga was the first Avenger. They put that nigga on step by step. <laughs> Think about this: they put that nigga on step by step, and they put that nigga on Full House. Nobody else was doing oh, yeah. shit like that. This nigga was a mega star. Oh yeah, he definitely. What what the fuck? Close is done. Close is done. This nigga was a mega that nigga pocket. Yeah, he was All definitely right. a mega star. All right, there you. I, chill out. I just said right, that. Darius. <laughs> okay. You and you and you and your nigga Eddie Winslow be hanging out together, nigga. <laughs> you know but the, but the, but the, yeah, but that the fact was crazy. That, he was he was there. He had his own dolls. Remember they used to own sell the dolls that you, you know pull I mean? and yeah. they would speak. This nigga yeah. was a fucking star. They the dog. He had a dance. Yeah. They yes. did the Urkel dance and yes. they did that shit. It was so fly. They did it on a roof. Who the fuck you know? Just start dancing randomly on a roof, and every person around him joins it and yes. just start and just knows the steps. And the, <laughs> it was crazy. Say, Dre, Dre, was you doing that shit as a kid when the kid was? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know you were telling it. Me. Do it. Everybody. I ain't had no suspenders, but I all you got to, come on, man. I know the song to this day. To this day, it's stuck in my head. Sometimes I can't, I can't, you know. I can't even front. I can't even front because TGIF Friday when that came on, you had to watch that <laughs> shit. But it's just like the downfall of these niggas now is just terrible. Like I, I remember seeing uh, Jaleel White in this movie, five dollar budget movie. Who made the ma Who made the potato salad or some shit like that? It was just mm. oh, it was terrible, man. It had it was he was in it. Had the the the, the light skin lady. From rock in it. Uh, what's mm -hmm. that light skin ass comedian? That cornball. He always in cheesy ass movies. He he's a fucking terrible comedian. You know the boy I'm talking about. It's about D Ray. He's always in. Yeah, D Ray. He was in it. He not terrible. He funny. ain't terrible. He Ray funny. Why are you That's talking about light skin man. people, bro? What's wrong with you? He flame you up, Kev. I tell you that. D Ray mm. flame your ass up. He's a comedian. You flaming D Ray? He's he should. He's a comedian. You know what I'm saying? As this, as this nigga still selling, yeah, this nigga still selling out the back of Walmart's. But let's move the fuck on from this nigga. I'm just saying he was in this movie. This shit was terrible, and I watched this shit. I'm like, yo, like this shit went straight to the five dollar bin at Walmart. This shit was just horrible. I'm like, damn, like, that like nobody. Was, it was it's called Pat, who made the potato salad. I'm listen. I'm gonna show you. I'm not, a big, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like the the movies that are like. Hey, I'm black and black. We black, y'all. Black, 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 black. Look at the stuff we do. We love our fried chicken. Don't you like it too? I don't like that type shit. Like to me, it's like we're more creative than that. I know that we're connecting to black folk, but you know, black folk are not a monolith. Like we we like different shit now. We don't. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
It's not yeah. the 90s, bro. Yeah. Nah, it just it was a terrible movie. And I'm like, yo, your career fell off. Like, I know niggas think it's a joke, but I'm like, somebody was like, yo, put that shit. That shit was funny. Yeah. Like, yo. Pierre is bad. Yes. D Ray's not bad. But if you're talking about Pierre, because Pierre was in like BAPS and shit. Yeah. Everybody I think, was in that movie. I didn't think he was funny back then. Now I think he's funny. Nah, like as a grown man. It was, it was D Ray. Yeah, Ray was in that. Eddie Griffin was in that. MC8 was in that. And what? Here, I'm gonna show you right here. Here's Tiny here's Lister was in that. Gary Owen was in that. Clifton Powell was in that. I, Ronaldo this is we, we got to watch that. <laughs> I'm just saying this shit. That shit is. This is a terrible. This just looks like it was terrible. It was just every every black stereotype times twenty was in this movie. Like they just. It was worse than Soul Plane, nigga. Oh, who? Oh, Kev, uh, Mike. You must Mike be talking to somebody. It. Talking to somebody. Yeah, I'm oh. just saying. Yeah, yeah. That shit was like worse than Soul Plane, and I'm like, yo, this nigga, man, like, yeah. But now he, now he married a tech, a tech mogul, and he's fucking moving on, man. Now, now Dre, you said you had something about another no, family. I will never. Member. I'm not going to watch that good time show because I already know because it's that. And my thing is, they didn't need to do that. They could have created something completely different. They could have created something completely different and then did that. They didn't have to call it good times. They like, it, it, there was no need to do that. And I'm now it's, it is, it is that, it's, that bullshit. Like, it's like, come it's on, got, bro. It's got my homie uh, doing the, doing the uh, narration or he's playing cool. one of the characters. Uh, what the fuck is his name? He <clears throat> he was on Pootie Tang. He was on uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh wow! Uh, just every every, every terrible fucking thing. I mean, Grand Theft nah, Auto was an excellent game. But was, Pootie Tang, he wasn't a character. Shit. He was he was um he was the guy on the, that was on the talk show radio when you on Grand Theft Auto when he used to we used to listen to like the talk show radio on the on, in your car and shit like that hold on i'm about to find his name right now yeah so so, um, so but so Deion Cole? no 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 nah, Deion cole's funny Deion yeah cole's funny but this nigga funny too he's really funny d ray is not um, funny well we already know this is old news this is very very old news and i don't think it's true uh when they was saying that jay smooth. smooth there you go oh yeah jb smooth, smooth. yeah yeah smooth. yeah but shit, another i still don't like I still don't like, I don't want to watch the Good Times show, the Good Times cartoon. I think it's stupid, but maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not feeling chance. it. See what it's about. I'm not feeling right, it. Um, it uh, about Carl fun. Winslow getting fucked by, by Sean P. Diddy Combs. Y'all never heard about that? I don't think it's true, yeah. obviously. I think it's bullshit, but it was a story about a nigga walking in on this nigga said, the, nigga, the father from Family Man is getting ran down on by Diddy. And it's like it's so random that the host, because the guy was on a podcast. I, it's, I don't know who it was. He was on a podcast, very famous now, very famous clip. And he said that Diddy was fucking fucking Carl Winslow. And the dude was confused. He was like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." He thought he was talking about Eddie Winslow. <laughs> That's how crazy it was. And <laughs> might because it's Eddie so Winslow. no, no, it wasn't. He the shit, the shit is so out there. You're like, what? Carl Winslow, maybe the other one, but nah. He said, "No, no, the dad." the dad from family matters and it perplexed everybody because it's like well why like if all right listen you gonna if you gonna fuck Chilly. you gonna fuck a nigga Chilly. why are you look choose all that ass bro sick it's like 70 he said look all that ass, said, all bro, that ass girl got he's 70 what i don't know because he just like maybe he was like he always thought carl Winslow was like that i don't know I just go ahead. Go, ahead. go deeper. I don't deeper. know. He probably made that nigga grow his mustache and shit for him and wear his cop uniform. I don't know what he <laughs> 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 this weird shit. Yo, bro. did he did he send in this nigga an email of what he want him to dress like for the next month? <laughs> for the for the next month before he fucks him is crazy. Yo, I want to see you mustache. around the city in your cop uniform and grow your mustache in. <laughs> But nothing else. 
Shave your head, shave your beard, keep the mustache. Because when I see you, it's on sight. (laughs) (laughs) I want you to turn me on all month. (laughs) Oh, shit. Bro, what? I'm just saying, man. That is crazy. He's never, yeah. he's never fucked Carl Wentz, though, bro. I don't believe that. Don't that man. I can't believe that. Like, why, though? And then the reason he said, he said he talked to Diddy afterwards, which my thing is, I would have ran screaming from that house. But <laughs> And Diddy says, it's nothing like, he said, it's nothing like a man who, making a man do anything you want that needs money. That's what he said that Diddy said. Probably, like, basically, probably. this nigga needed money, and I fucked him. So I could give him the money. <laughs> that was in the loan agreement, apparently. If you want this money, Playboy, you got to take that. Take that. Oh God, I thought we was, was never going to hear it again. Who was Carl Winslow? Who was Carl Winslow? Catchphrase on the show, like what he had? Nothing. He had, Nothing. Nah, you know what happened after Diddy said after Diddy got done fucking him, he had that fucking that music Carl always get when he has a sit down talk with one of his kids playing in the background as he talking to Diddy. It wasn't the music, nigga. It was a saxophonist in the room. <laughs> in the room. With him. <laughs> playing live. Talking to Diddy. Nigga yeah. $100,000. And we learned today a man would do anything if he's desperate. That's you basically what I'm saying. Bring the same girls who sung your chorus. DVD but, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> but my thing is, how do you know when I'm done? Bro, you can do anything else. The theme music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Or <laughs> <More> repeat. <laughs> how long you think did he take it? <laughs> how long you think yeah. this nigga taken inside of Carl? <laughs> As long as he wants, Carl need money. money. <laughs> nah, taking your time with Reginald Bell Johnson is fucking insane. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time with Reginald Bell Johnson. I want you to wear I'm the cop uniform, but you gotta wear the yeah. cop uniform for die hard. Take it off slow. Take it off slow, Carl. Take it off slow, Carl. Your name's Carl. The my name is Reginald. Carl. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's it's Carl. Carl. No, it ain't. It's Carl. No, not today. No, nah, we call you see dubs. Yo, Diddy found the extended version <laughs> of the fucking theme music. Had that shit playing in the background. It's called Yo, you nigga. know there is. You know there yeah, is an extended version too. It's a brand new edition with this thing in age. No, that is the terrible, good news man. On a newspaper page. I just think there all no good shit. news being given that. And we, hey, hey, and we ain't hear from Lil Richie in thirty years. That should tell you something about that. That should tell you uh, something about know. the thing we had as Curtis. Uh, we didn't know. hear from Will Richie in 30 years, and the other nigga that was on there was fucking uh, what's my man name who go crazy online now? Uh, he was on the later years. He was on that so Raven and shit. That nigga. Oh, that nigga. Oh, he just he 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 out there. I think he do everything he say. Uh, so I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of shit, man. That family matters. It's a whole lot of shit. Yeah. All right, a whole man, lot of shit. Of more family. Speaking of Family Matters clip, we don't have the clip, dog. Y'all had me watch this shit earlier. Uh, I ain't got the video. I wish I had it. But the dad daughter was getting bullied at school. The dude, his daughter was getting bullied at school. He said, talk to the principal. He tried to talk to the parents. And he wind up jumping the dad of the bully that was bullying his daughter. Mm-hmm. And my thought to that whole shit was like, I was like, damn, I mean, that's a boss ass move. I'm like, did y'all have to jump the nigga? Like, the nigga look like he could probably square, like, what you look like he could have probably gave the dad the one on one business and probably tighten this nigga up real quick. Or maybe he just, I don't know, the nigga look like he shoots in the video, like he shoot niggas. So maybe that's why he jumped the nigga. But I think he could have gave him just random ones with the nigga instead of jumping him. Like, what's y'all thought? No, no, because I don't know if I could beat you. So I want to make sure I could beat you in front of your daughter. I don't know if I can beat you. In all honesty, I might be the strongest nigga alive. People at my job think I'd really be knocking niggas out. Haven't gotten to a I'm fight in 20 you. years. <laughs> but so you, you say the nigga say, yo, let me make sure that I get this certified W before both of us be getting bullied. 
<laughs> yeah, well, the, the thing is, you don't know if the dad got a gun. You don't know what's going on. So his his thought process was, I'm going to teach this girl that their their life, that the, the decisions she makes have consequences. So in order for me to exact that particular lesson on this situation, I got to beat your dad up in front of you. And you have to understand that you did that. Do I agree with it? No. No. We have the video and message. Kinda. Hey, kind of. Put it up on here. I kind of agree it. with it. I, so I don't agree with it because it's like if that was my daughter, I'd be mad as shit. But I will also, but I would also reprimand my daughter and make sure she doesn't do that. But I agree with it because it's like that's like justice to me, though. <laughs> that's I, like, I think it was it is like justice. It's like justice. It's like because it's because even with me, it's like, all right, it's like us, right? I know we all been in this situation before when you like it's a girl in school, you can't fight her. You know you can't fight her. You like go get your brother then. And you go beat the shit out of her brother. You know why you beat the shit yeah. out of her brother? Because you can't beat the shit out of her. So now your brother gonna feel this, and this is your fault. Yeah. I mean, we've said it before. Yo, go get your brother, go get your dad. Go get your you dad. Know, we knew he was gonna get our ass with by her dad, but so what? Get him. <laughs> get him. Get him. He fuck around and get jumped coming out here. That's where you're supposed to jump him. I mean, to jump. I don't know. I'm about to put a picture. This this nigga, all these tattoos. This nigga look like he been in prison a lot. So it looked like he should have. It looked like he could have beat the dad up one on one. Well, and well, like say I mean, the dad was like a hundred. He said in the video that he tried to plead with them. He's had conversations. They've had mediations. He's taking the proper steps to try to get this girl to stop bullying his daughter. And they went to no avail. So he so he, he jumped went in and, the dough. And, and had her got her dad beat up. So she could see what the consequences are of a person being bullied. That was his explanation. Man, Is he wrong? This. Look at this nigga. It's this nigga. Hmm. Interesting. This, Is he wrong? This, this nigga looked like he'd been to prison a few times. I think he could have beat this nigga up. That nigga. Yeah. That nigga looked like, I, I that want y'all look like do me a favor. Do me a favor right now. I want both of y'all to look at something real quick. And this <sighs> might explain some stuff. You know what that necklace is? Yeah, it's a uh that's a Mason, Mason. necklace. There you yeah. go. That's it. You could take it down if you want. But that's there you Mason. go. That explain that explains something right there. So you say Masons can't fight one on one? I never, I never would say that. No, nah. there's a specific law that these guys live by. Like it's a little bit different than us. Like you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, and they they connections are very deep, very deep. Oh yeah, I know, I know. But very damn, deep. like I, I think he could have gave the nigga the ones. Like, I don't think nothing he did was a coward move because he like I'm pretty sure he told that nigga. In the parent teacher conference, like, yo, bro, you got one more time, and we're gonna give you. And I'm, I'm gonna have some niggas come fuck you up. And I'm pretty I sure it was said just like, and I'm pretty sure it was said just like that. And that nigga said, man, fuck out of here. Then that nigga called the ultimate stomp out. Like, that nigga got his ass with that nigga called a Cam Newton. Like, um, he wasn't doing that, what Cam did. That was a lesson to, to the father, too, though. Yeah. Right. I bet you now he said, he, he beat the shit yeah. out of his little daughter. I bet you he whipped that door to ass. Don't you say nothing to that little bitch no more. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, because you might have brushed it off. Like, let's assume he brushed it off. Like, yeah, they got a problem with it, but you teach your daughter how to fight. Like, or, yo, whatever, whatever. Or maybe he just didn't stick with the lesson or or, the, or what he should have told his daughter or something like that. And then she kept doing it every day. Because my thing is like, why ain't your daughter listening to you? Why she think you playing? She that's an important question. Cause, but the thing is, she can't. He can't beat his daughter now. Cause she can like you whip my ass, but you ain't whip her daddy ass. Like, I know. Like, let's let's, real, let's go deeper just, on it, though. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, dog. If you really can't control your daughter to begin with, you really think you can control your daughter even more after you catch an L? Yeah. Come on, man. Let's. Come, you really are, Dre. Yeah, I'm dead she, ass. She, I ain't even trying to be. I'm not even trying to be funny about with the situation. I'm because not trying still, to be funny about the situation. Yeah, okay. she still cares so, about him, and she saw him get hurt. So, like, 
it's different from your girl who's a grown up woman who's been through life seeing her boyfriend or husband get beat up, then that might make you lose a respect for you. You know what I mean? That might be something that's like, ah, oh, I lost a little respect for him. But the girl and her dad, that's tra- that's traumatizing. It's not something that she's looking at like, oh, my dad got beat. She got He got beat up by a bunch of niggas. It's more traumatizing than anything. So he's not saying, she's she's not going to say, I ain't listening to you because you let you let five niggas whoop your ass. Like, th- no, that's, yeah, that's going to happen. Exactly. This is her fault. But here, here's the thing, though. Uh, another thing about this whole situation: Will it be wrong the nigga who got jumped now come back for some real get back? Like that's what I was thinking me. about. No, I'm coming. No, I'm it's coming not. Back. I'm coming back with twenty that's niggas that's and find you. Know. Like I know you drop your daughter off at school. We are gonna pull you out your car and stomp you the fuck out in front of your daughter. Like, like that's what I'm saying. Like if it had been one, if it had been one, if it had been ones, if they would have went ones. I think it'd be like, yo, I caught the L. Is over with, but since you jumped me, like you just you, you continued to beef, like you like it it doesn't die down. Like I got stumped out by you and your niggas. Now I'm gonna catch you dolo, stomp you out, and be on the low. Then it just keeps escalating. That's the only problem, real problem I have with the situation because that's that I really think this shit is going to escalate if the other dad is about that because I it'll eventually escalate. And I hate to say it, and it's something like you know gun violence, bro, because only so many times niggas gonna go back and forth jumping niggas before they take it to that next level. Let's be real. Or I'm gonna catch you when we gotta get the fade. But yeah, people don't live by those rules anymore. Yes, if I see you next nah. time, like I gotta I gotta carry a gun now to drop my daughter off to school because you be tripping and I'll bust you in your motherfucking head. Yeah, it's like you're not jump, y'all not jumping me again. Like if I ever have a pro- you're not jumping me again. Now, now five of y'all wanna rush me. All right, well, there's gonna be five ambulance coming. You know what I'm saying yeah. now, 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 now your daughter learned a different, a different lesson. Fight one on one. You done taught your daughter a valuable lesson. Shoot the ones. Shoot or, the ones, which everybody needs to be teaching their kids to. Yeah, shoot the ones. Like I, that's the only, that's the only thing I had about the whole story. I don't think homie was wrong and beating the other dad up, but I think they should have just shot the ones because and he didn't want to take a chance of losing that that battle. Because then, what lesson is he teaching? Well, well then don't don't act tough if you're scared of catching the L. Like real shit. You sh- if you didn't want to be if you're trying to embarrass this dude in front of his daughter, you should be confident enough in your hands to shoot the nigga well, the ones. Let me, let me ask y'all a question. Enough in, I'm about to hold it. Let me finish this thought. Yeah, yeah of if course. If you're not confident enough in your hands to shoot the nigga the ones in front of his daughter, catch the nigga dolo and say, and then fight. That way if win, lose, or draw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Neither one of y'all kids had to witness the other dad getting beat up. Like, I tried to prove a point, got my ass whipped. But I think I guess he wanted to ensure his daughter don't get bullied in school no more either. That that dulls that dulls his point, the point he was trying to make. So at at that point, let me ask y'all a question. Like, if this same situation, if you then if you know that your child is getting bullied, you teach him how to fight, but some people you know you're not gonna be able to beat. But you know your child is getting bullied. You done hit everything you had. So you talk to the parents, you talk to the school, and somehow every day your child come home like this nigga will not stop fucking with me every day. You know you can't touch the kid. What do y'all do at that point? It's well, a lot of cousins. I, I, they got a lot of cousins who are always well, ready to see what this scenario is about. So if y'all want to, if y'all want to bully, and they always want to get their family involved. Let's, let me get my big cousins. Let me get my my sister, brother, whomever. You know what I mean? That's okay. how. I mean, that's I, how. That's how it's always been handled. Even as us growing up, you know what I mean. If somebody was fucking with us, hold on, a couple of y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me go get a couple of my cousins and shit. Let me show y'all what it's really about. Well, I had a similar. I had a situation like that. That was it. This this the beginning of the school year with my son and shit. A, a dude, a young boy was. Bullying my son, like talking shit and like trying to bully my son. So I told my son, like, yo, you see this motherfucker, like you fuck him up and I handle the repercussions, whatever come, you get suspended, whatever. I don't care. My son wound up seeing the ball, but somebody videotaped it, and my son was whipping the ball's ass. And for some odd reason, as my son's whipping this ball ass, his cousin I, out of nowhere decides he's going, I'm going to jump in a fight. Which 
wasn't even necessary because my son was winning the fight. I seen the video. My son was winning the whole fight, which turned into me having to go to court, and it made my son look like the bully. Where, where in reality, my son was being bullied. I just told him to stick up for himself because that's what I'm used to doing. My dad always, if anybody bullied me, my dad would just send me outside and like, yo, you got gotta go run this shit win lose a draw like i got my i ain't gonna lie i got one a couple and i ain't gonna lie i got my ass whipped a couple of times too like but my dad was mm-hmm. like you ain't running like you're not running from nobody like i the funniest one i always bring up is like i was fighting the nigga the nigga was like four or five years older than me but he was just bullying me and i ain't got no older brothers and my dad see me running in the house and my dad made me go out there and fight this nigga every blow this nigga hit me with it was the most painful fucking thing in the world. But all I could hear is my dad saying, if you get knocked out, I'm whipping your ass. And I didn't want to get a beating from my dad. So I just stood there and just kept fighting the nigga back, hitting him. But I'm pretty sure for every three I hit him with, his one that he hit me with was like, it was more devastating to the point. Thank God I love my aunt to this day. She came out and said, stop the kids from fighting. And she split us apart. And I just fell out and was looking at the, looking at the sky. And my dad, and later on, this the dude that I got in a fight with wound up becoming my friend and wouldn't let nobody fuck with me because he said, little nigga, you got heart. And my dad was like, that was a lesson I'm trying to teach you. Like, yo, don't get bullied. Stick up for yourself and dudes will respect you more. And I got my ass whipped in that fight. No, I got my ass whipped in that fight, dog. No, that's that's an important thing. (laughs) Important lesson. Very important lesson. It was an important lesson, but... But it made me not be scared. And as that lesson let me know not to be scared of anybody anymore. A bullies is just like, yo, is it, you know what I mean? Wanna lose a draw, but the nigga gonna know, like, if I jump on this dude, never wanna fight you again. To, I'm um, I'm gonna have to keep fighting this nigga. Like, yeah, you ain't just because that's what bullies do. Bullies is just keep hitting you because you're not fighting back. You ain't gonna do shit. Yep. You ain't gonna so you're an easy target, but the moment you Hit a nigga in the eye, and you like you biting, you don't listen. This is a fight, nigga. Yo. Ain't no referees. I'm biting, kicking, punching, Yo. anything to win this fight. If I gotta bite your ear off, I'm biting your ear off in the fight. It's a fight, my nigga. This ain't no this ain't no squaring yeah. up and do it. Yeah, I square up, but we get the if, tussling and biting you. Get up off me. If I if I knew what I knew, if I knew as a kid what I knew now, because you could say I got bullied when I was like young, young, like in middle school. If I knew what I knew now, all I do. Soon as a nigga start fucking with me, hold on, I'll be right back and go grab some shit and start trying to fuck that nigga up. He'll he would have never fucked with me again. You know why? That nigga's insane, <laughs> and I got a long day if I fuck with him. I'm gonna fuck with a nigga next to him, but not him. He's bad shit. That's what it is. Like if they go, if they gotta fight you, and you don't stop like you did, like if you don't stop, who want to deal with that? I want to bully somebody that I could just you know punch in the head and ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, and that's what the thing was. The nigga Not the nigga just, that fight nigga me for three hours. The nigga would just, I mean, the nigga would just beat, you should slap me up every day and chase me home. And he chased me, he chased me home one day while my dad was off for work. And he chased yeah, me in the crib. Go. That nigga, that nigga grabbed me back up, knocked on the next door. Yo, bring your son out. Do us in the middle of the street. That's the way to do it. As boys. I had to get, I had to get busy. I called an L, but it's like, yo, the nigga respect me after that. And that's what I'm saying. With far back to the dad situation with the one on one, you should have just showed, fought the niggas, shot the niggas, the ones, and the dude would have know like, yo, if you get, if I keep picking with this, if my daughter keep picking with this nigga door, this nigga gonna want to fight me. Fight every day. I don't want, I don't want to keep fighting this nigga. But when you jump this nigga, you, I think he escalated it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear more from that story. Like it's not gonna go away. It's gonna be something. No, we're not. About that dude's amazing. We ain't gonna hear nothing, of, nothing else of it. Wait, that dude's amazing. You know why? You know why? That nigga, that nigga could do some shit. Copper Mason too. Yo. Yeah. You know why? So, you know why I know this? You know why I know this? I work with a Mason. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, Got the I, I, same shit and was telling me some some similar shit. Like, hey, I know. Where? Oh, it used to be a cop too. Oh, see, there you yeah. go, man. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, all that shit you saying you might do. No, you won't. Yeah. I know the judge. <laughs> I know the judge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how we go down. 
Hey, yo, I'm gonna finish. We're gonna finish this story out. With, uh, did y'all see the video I sent y'all with Drake, man? No, I did not. No. What your boy do? About... Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Hey, right, come on, man. Hey, I, mean, I thought it was just, it. just joking or something. But go ahead. I'm about to put, I'm about to put the video, but you know, speaking like, let 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 you light skinned niggas talk about your homie Drake. But I'm gonna get this video up and let y'all. You're a colorist. You're a colorist. I'm uh, tired of it. I know you yeah, got light skinned niggas gotta stick together. Y'all niggas thought Drake won the battle. Like y'all niggas were texting me. Every Never day. ever said that. Nigga. What are you talking about? I'm just like you making up. Shit. Shit. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Whole I, yo, I'm full, I, okay, all right. I'm, I'm making up shit. I'm making up shit. Yes, 100. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot some of the shit Kev said. Yeah, because the nigga was like, yeah, yo, so last time it was like, yo, last time, what? Kendrick, last time Kendrick dropped some shit. What I say, Dre? I said shit, I think yeah. this shit is old for Drake. Yeah, we yeah. We the one thing we both about. say is that is that Drake can actually rap. That's it. No, he can rap. No, he can't. Yes, he can. Right. <laughs> but we're not going right. to talk about that. But that's nobody said Drake won. I think unilaterally, no one thinks Drake won, including Drake. That's why Drake said, I ain't saying no more yeah, about this shout shit. Out. I ain't saying no more. Controller. Controller. Yeah, nigga, that's what he's saying. Like he 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 made At home. dumb ass. He made this video, but I'm about to post this shit. Am I gonna hate it? Mm-hmm. Turn your mic off, buddy. But you know, one day we're gonna come here and talk about talk about why that person made up a lie about Carl Winslow. Because I don't think you should throw dirt on a man's I don't think you should do, throw dirt on a 70 year old man's name for your for a podcast with a family or whatever he got. Boyfriend, I don't it doesn't matter what he got. What if his kids, if he has kids, or what if whatever he has didn't know that did he you know what I'm saying? Like blackmailed him for for sex or whatever it was. I don't think it's cool that the person decided to let that out if that was the case. Just my opinion. Yep. You think he you think he should have kept I, well niggas, this is the era of exposing niggas, man. You you know everybody yeah, got that's have. some weirdo shit, nigga. 70. It's Diddy, man. Like Diddy can fuck anything. He said, "I'm gonna when fuck a seventy year old nigga with a mustache." Allegedly happened. It probably did. It's I alleged. Think it's it alleged. is alleged. It, it maybe. When, it, no, when did it allegedly happen? I don't know. Like I guess years ago, not like 30, 40, but like I don't know. The, the nigga ain't. You know, it's just a clip. That's but the that's the bullshit. Like Fifty something years old, and he you know look. He saying? look. He fucked up. He fucked the fucked the older man. So if it happened back in like the late nineties, early two thousands, that's crazy. Yeah, mm. like when when you talk about when was on like Carl was popping, <laughs> that nigga was thirty five uh, in nineteen ninety. Thirty, he's like thirty eight nineteen ninety. Well, we're gonna we're gonna end it with Drake. Now listen, to this dumb shit this nigga say. This is work with me. I like Kev. One, two, three, go. You got it. Yeah, go. All right. What's up, man? Y'all already know, man. It's your boy, Drizzy Drake, coming to you, man. Whenever y'all in L.A., man, tapping with my nigga, man, Don Pax, man. He got all that shit, man. Y'all be putting in your arm. He got that, man. Y'all be off that fence. It's whatever you want to do. Y'all niggas still on them 30s. You got to fuck with Don Pax, nigga. Perk 80s, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be fucking with them blue, man. Get on them reds, nigga, for real, man. Y'all know what it is, though, man. Tapping with my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Tap in till you tap out. It's the, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, it's a troll. Yeah, it's a troll. I hope it's a troll, but don't be saying that dumb shit. Like, just shut the fuck up. Like, you lost the battle. You talk about tapping with some fit and all and tapping to some shit you tapping. Oh, that was way before that. F- I don't give a fuck. Just shut the fuck up and just 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 hold the L, my nigga. Just make a, make a new love song. So you get the bitches back on your side, man. Have the light so skin niggas be in joys. Like, just shut the fuck up. So you lost, think he right? lost? You think he lost, and that's the first thing you went to go do? He just don't know when to stop. Like, he don't know when to just, like, yo, most niggas that take a rap L, just like, all right, I lost. When Jay lost to Nas, it was like, all right, we know Jay lost. I thought he Jay did that chill. before the whole battle situation. He, 
He definitely did. Uh, but go ahead. Oh, let let oh, Kev go. Hey, Kev, he he definitely did, hate nigga. Kev be looking for reasons to hate this uh, nigga. Uh, I don't. I don't give a fuck. The nigga. Yeah, I got all the reason to hate this nigga. I'm going to say something to me. I got Kung Fu Kenny on speed dial, nigga. Drake, he put another one out on your ass, nigga. I'm going to fuck. You going to sit Ken- you going to you going to sit Kendrick Lamar back on Drake. <laughs> yep. Kev got the Drop. juice. He got the juice. I got, I got three more for your ass, nigga. Like you better stop. I I hit the sin. I got I right, listen. Yeah. I'll oh, hold up. Hold on, hold on. This nigga said Kendrick Dennis was whack for real. You're not gonna do that. Nigga. We can't do that, bro. We can't do that. You know that's not the truth. You know that's that not the nigga, truth, nigga. Nigga, you sound like you got Drake blankets. You know that's not the truth. What it is is, I think it's when people can Drake dance to, when people can vibe to Drake, that's that's that was the swear. If you're a Drake fan and you could and you could vibe to his disses, that's what it is because he gonna dish you the more, you know, digestible beats. Kendrick was a little bit more artistic, but the, the verbiage and the way he did it, and they not like us, man. Number one, I don't know what else to say. Can't say that and was Drake, right. Number one, you can't say it's, it's number one. And you, Drake, lost to a producer. He told Metro to shut your dumb ass up and make some drums. I was at my son's basketball practice while watching them play, play basketball practice. Don't you know it was eighth graders in there, little eighth graders in there singing BBL Drizzy while they playing basketball? I said you lost. I said this shit. The kids got to hold this shit. You lost. You lost to a rapper. You the first nigga in rap history to lose to a producer. Maybe. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't think they battled. No, 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 no. I think that was a battle. He did. He did. He took a shot at Metro, said, Metro, shut your dumb ass up and make some drums. And Metro said, I'm going to make some drums. And he replied yeah, with that's BBL not a battle. Jersey. That's just like trolling. Oh, that's man. Making a beat, of, making a beat with, with. Oh, that's just crazy. Hook on there is just trolling. That's crazy. Yeah. And then put it yeah, out for free to make cool. their own shit. Yeah. Now, I think, I think, um, I think when it comes to Drake, I think too many people don't like him. Like it's a lot of people that don't like him because of the because of the weirdo shit he do. Like he like the he one of them niggas who like to fuck behind people or he like to like talk about the bitches hey. he fuck or like he'll fuck, fuck if he fucked your girl, he girl. Let you know he, yeah like he do weirdo shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot yeah. of niggas don't like him because of women because it's just weirdo shit he do. So but he hit he the right like- storm where mad niggas not fucking with him. And dog when metric when um. Uh, Metric system Mustard, boom. When Mustard just fucking when Mustard gave that shit to the Kendrick nigga is like, yo, you can't do nothing but crip walk to the shit. You're not like <laughs> and, us. And, and now he can't never tap in at Atlanta no more because niggas from Atlanta like I don't want to be a part of the next, you know. Imagine him colonizing shit. I don't even want to be a part Metro of that shit. Gave Kendrick that BBL Drizzy beat before it would be I, corny then. You think it so? Would. Yeah, because it would be like a gimmick. Because it'd be a gimmick. BBL Drizzy, like I said, I mean, that's the first. That's the first uh, time before, a fucking producer. If he, beat a if he never told I'm anybody happy. that he was gonna make a beat about it, and he made a beat and gave it to Kendrick after Drake said all that shit, he made a beat, gave it to Kendrick. The first time we heard it was when Kendrick laced it. I don't know. That nah, shit might have been. That shit might have been great with Kendrick on it. And they would have put and they would have put all the metaphors and soliloquies yeah. and all that shit in there. We'd have been yeah. like bobbing to the beat. They, like, not, they not like us, it just that, like that was enough. Crazy shit to this BBL Drizzy shit. Why are you trolling like they, a bitch? Ain't you that not, not like that shit was was definitely the so we're Kendrick at, I mean where where Drake at now? Toronto, Canada, somewhere chilling. Well, I don't know where he is. He's probably in LA because he yeah, has a house in LA as well, but it's it I I don't I mean I think he take the loss and he's still rich he still has a record deal and That's has to saying. make has to make music so I think he's gonna yeah, lay low for a little while and then he's gonna hit us with a summer banger and no one will care again but they will know that he's not fucking with Kendrick Lamar Kendrick you he just can't, and that's the thing. He make a summer banger. You can no longer take shots at Kendrick. That's that's it. No, he will. Like, 
he will just not right now. He will like probably in a year and he's going to talk about this particular thing, but no one will care because he lost. Yeah, it's like, yo, you, are, you already took the L. Y'all think yeah, he lost saying. to Pusher? Yeah, he lost to Pusher Drake? when, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think he lost because he, he took the bitch way out. He ain't want to keep going. And nigga, it, <laughs> it's ugly now. What's up? It's ugly now. Let's keep going. You the man, right? If you the man, keep going now. And yeah, he didn't no. keep going. They wanted to protect Jay their Prince. investment. Jay Prince said, listen here. Drake got a diss so bad that we can't release it. When the nigga did, when the nigga said, when it, yeah, when the nigga said that, I automatically in my brain said, all right, you lost Drake. Like, you in the town you took, you automatically yeah. took the L. You, you should have told your manager, chill, I'm going to battle this nigga. You're not telling Jay Prince to chill. You, <laughs> he's not. But it's funny because, and it's another reason Yo, chill, how Drake Jay lost. Prince. This is what? another reason how Drake lost to Pusha T. Pusha made you bring your fucking son that you was hiding to the light. Like, you had niggas. I'm like, a who this nigga Adonis Pusha? Pusha lying. And it's like, nah, he really had a baby by a porn star. Damn. That was a stripper. No, nah, she was a porn, porn star. stripper. Well, let's, 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 let's call these people Damn. Like adult actresses. They're, they're, they're not porn adult stars. actresses, but still, man, it's like adult actresses. I'm like, how much pushing did she have to do to get Adonis out? What? Was she still working when she was pregnant with the little nigga? What are you talking about? Ah. He's, he's trying to say that her vagina hole was so wide that when she gave birth, he probably just and and it came out like same I'm just height. saying, was was she still working while she was pregnant with him? That's what he's trying to say. Oh. I don't know. I don't oh, know. See, that's why he did. That's why he didn't battle push no more. Because that would have been the next line. Your son hair is so good because. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. what? Like, oh, because niggas, uh, niggas was oh niggas was running down. Got some extra cream on his. It got some yeah. extra cream on his hair. Cause you know they said kids born with a lot of hair, they mom would be fucking the whole time during the pregnancy. <laughs> All right, man. That's <laughs> a true thing, man. You want your kid to have a lot of hair? You fuck throughout the pregnancy. See, yeah, down this shit, this shit like it's this like going? that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Let's know. See. Yeah, <laughs> but no, we're done. Yeah, no, no longer. Uh, still the top three, but but uh, yeah. Kendrick at this point lyrically would be the top, and and then J Cole basically took himself out of the equation. So I don't know if J Cole recovers from this either. No, he can't. He can never battle. He can't battle nobody. He can never. You no, they can never battle anybody where a lower status than him. J Cole, like. Say, uh, I'm just trying to name a low, a low, a low totem pole rapper. Say, if like a logic fucking, uh, got battle logic, <laughs> if you battle logic, is like the best nah, mixed you rapper. Should've, you should have, you should have took your shot at Kendrick. Like, you can, I think you logic don't even battle niggas. Nick, logic battle niggas will love, even when he had beef with niggas, he showered them with love on his track. I, he That's took good. a shot at somebody, but. You showering yeah, niggas with a, love. You if you battle shower Russ. Battle Russ. If you shower niggas with love on your disses, then you should be uh you should be fucking Sydney Star. <laughs> and that's how we ended it. Can this we episode. end it there? That's how we ended it. <laughs> We're out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>